Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of nine properties. The only one that's not holding back on offers is 280 Bell Street. Everything else is holding back. And uh, I'll give you, just as we always do on Daily Homes, a little bit of an inside perspective, some things you may not know just from looking at the listings. Because I think most people, what they do is they look at the listings, say, oh, those are that looks nice. I'd live there. Uh, in real life, totally different story. So let's talk about some homes. First one up is 87 Van Fleet, 568-888. And uh, so this is a Bolton model. It's 1275 square feet. So your, your main room is like a living area and then there's a dining area and then the kitchen kind of overlooks yeah, there you go, that gives it. So there's living, dining, there's kitchen, there's kind of a pass-through with a breakfast bar. And then there is also an Eden area over on the front side of the house, which there it is right there. So that's pretty much your main floor. Uh, only one full bathroom upstairs. And there is also a finished basement. So again, I think this one's gonna go for more which is, I mean, I've broken the mo the record on this home a couple times. The other thing that, um, and nowhere near this kind of pricing, the other thing that a lot of people don't know, and they, and they get surprised by it if the agent doesn't tell them, is that Mattamy Homes do not have a garage entry into the backyard. So there's no direct access, which means the only way you can get to your backyard is either through your, your sliding door inside, or there's a right of way that's registered on these properties. They're freehold homes, but your neighbor has right to access their yard through yours. And they're usually a row of six properties. So obviously the end units don't need any neighbors going through, or sorry, don't have to access through other people's yards, but people can access their properties. So second and third property in, they're going to go through the backyard of the end unit and go across. So it, depending on where you are, units three and four have access through other people's yards, uh, but no one obviously needs to use theirs. So it's, uh, yeah, you gotta be careful, but that's what those gates are, is that that is for access for the neighbors for the right of way. So this one on Farmstead, this is when the agent does a good job, okay? Because they've uh, they, they've set the offer date at a certain time. Remember, they just listed this one yesterday. Uh, 588.5. So they put a note in the broker's comments that I can see and you can, and it says that we received a bully offer and we're presenting it tonight. So that's the whole thing, right? Buyers say, I don't care what day you want to do offers, I'm sending one and... Uh, I think a bully offer at 9 p.m. So we would, I, I guess we'd know the results by now. So it's 9 p.m. last night. It listed and then literally like probably within hours of being listed, uh, someone had that bully offer in place. Whether or not it's okay with the sellers, who knows, right? But that's, that's how quick this stuff's moving. So if you want instant updates about homes, you gotta plug into something like MarketWatch which you'll find on the site under offers up there if it's mobile or on a desktop, it should be on this side over here called listing updates by email. So LeBlanc Court, 1800 square feet, and it is one of those three-story townhouses with a double garage in the back. And uh, you can safely bet that this one's going for a lot more than 599. Now, if we f if we rewound back to uh, August of 2016, this like 599 would be one of the highest sales ever for these models. Since then, we've seen f 650, 660, and so on. It's been a real rapid increase. One thing you'll never see with our photo galleries is these weird zoom ins. For some reason, there's this infatuation. It started maybe a year and a half ago with kitchen sinks close-ups flowing water in the videos i don't get it i've had a few videos with flowing water i could do without them but anyway that's something happened in our industry around sort of sexy sinks i don't know that's your backyard essentially right up here so you have the garage hopefully they'll show the view uh the garage that's above the garage and then there's no real backyard there it is right there so 
You can park a car out here, I believe, and then you can also park two cars inside. I've also checked on this. You cannot or you shouldn't put a hot tub on this deck up here because it's wood frame. There's no steel I-beams underneath and it can't handle the weight. Now with that single car garage selling for over 900 that we mentioned earlier this week, everything looks like a deal. So this one obviously holding back on offers, it's called a Madame Powell model, about 1900 square feet. And so you've got a front living dining, then you go past this kind of half wall and then you've got your, uh, your family room. I find the nine foot ceilings on this one make a big difference. I believe this one has the nine. Yeah, it does. It says that in the description, you've got your three bedrooms. Uh, there could be a little loft. Yeah, there's your loft area right up here. And then you've got your walkout door outside. So this is a good little place for a home office. And finished basement is done. This one's going for a lot more than seven on offer night. Pretty much guarantee. I know you'd look at the yellow siding and say, well, it's not really my thing. It doesn't matter for the, the intrinsic value and what's been selling. I would guess 750 is at a minimum of what this one's going to go for. Same size as the Powell, a little bit smaller is this one on Newell, listed for 750 with they win the award for the worst pictures of the day, that's for sure. Um, that's your front room there. We talked about the plan for when we talked about that sale over 900, it was this floor plan. So. I, there's nice finishes in here. I don't love any kind of yellow paint inside. I don't feel like it's the real booster color for any listing. Uh, but they have some finishes. They have some upgrades inside of here. It's also the four bedroom elevation where if you need a four bedroom, most of them are three bedroom or three plus one. The fours are probably the least common versions of this home. And I think in many ways, uh, have some of the most intrinsic value. If someone needs four, then they've got it with something like this. You can if here's the thing, like someone who's okay with three can do a three or a four, but if you need four, you can't do a three. It just doesn't happen. So value doesn't change too much, but your audience, the number of people who would buy the home goes up a little bit with the four bedroom. So this uh, one on Snyder, we'll finish up quick, is a Snowberry model, also built by Mattamy, uh, 2053 square feet, something like that, just over 2,000, plus a finished basement. Uh, you walk in, you've got a, a dining room, then you have a family room, and then a kitchen as well in the back. So there's really just three big rooms on the main floor. I like this elevation with the kitchen island. Uh, if there's no plumbing in that island, oftentimes you can move it around. The standard position for this island is actually turned 90 degrees from how it is in the picture. So how they've done it is they've actually eliminated the eat-in area. If you moved it around, you could uh, open up space for the eat-in. Pros and cons in terms of showing it, I tend to like showing that there's some space to have a table there. Now, if they've never owned a table, uh, the option is to buy one on Kijiji or to rent it. Those costs, surprisingly, are actually very similar. Uh, so I find a lot of clients end up just buying it out. Uh, well staged, right? There's less stuff that you could take it a few more things out of here, but overall, like it's got a good look to it. You can tell that it's a family that lives here and uh, you got your finished basement. So it's good. The other thing you can do with here is if you wanted two cars side by side, you could probably kind of extend a little walkway out here. Uh, you're not gonna cut the curb and you always wanna check with municipal authorities about whether or not you can do something like that uh, before attempting it. These guys will probably have the first digit being an eight when, uh, when offer night comes around. Or with Snyder, who knows, it could even be a nine. I have no idea. Anyway, that's the list for today. Uh, it's really hard to gauge prices right now. I mean, I'm meeting with sellers, you know, multiple times a week and they say, hey, what can I sell my home for? And I almost kind of treat it like, look, you can pretty much count on this, but you might find yourself being a lot better than that. You really don't know. There's the luck of the draw and there's also just kind of like what else is going on competition wise. Another thing to look at as a seller is when other people are taking offers, because strategically, you may want to put your offer night before someone else or after them. 
uh, it's a real interesting exercise. It's a different muscle than we've used or, or did use 10 years ago. So anyway, have a great day and we'll see you back here probably on Tuesday because Monday is family day with another episode of Daily Homes. Thanks for watching.